Okay, so Libra, Libra rising, Libra ascendant, or if you have Libra in your first house, this is actually my ascendant sign, and I actually also have a lot of planets on my first house, so I can attest you guys that this is really accurate um, information about Libra sign people. So with Libra, they are ruled by Venus, so there is a form of finesse, a form of being refined in their energy and how to do how they vibrate their energy to the world as well. Um, their their appearances are more of you know it's not about what they look like. It's more about how they vibrate their energy. You can just see the Ven Venusian type of energy in them. You know. There is some form of sweet, adorable kind of energy. I'm not talking about myself though. I'm just explaining to you guys, you know, this is the the blueprint of a Libra rising person. Is that there is a sense of softness in them that, you know, they're more of the class. They don't really, you know, they're not abrasive in the way that they, they walk, the way that they do things. It's everything is very like calm, collected, that kind of energy. And this is probably because they have their tent house in Cancer. So, you know, it's like a mix of energy of everything. Like they're walking on eggshells or something like that. So that can be quite prominent for them. So also, most of the time, either they're their features are more on the symmetrical side or sometimes you know that unbalanced nature can pop up in their system like for me if you would see um my face is actually not very well balanced probably you know that is the effects of my libra rising so it's either you will see a lot of balances in a person's features or a lot of imbalances um, there is just you know a thin line between them but either way they their chose the way that they choose their outfits and all that has a form of class has a form of you know they don't wear too much of the prints most of the times if they wear prints it still vibrate the sense of style you know there's just something about their energy that vibrates a strong Venusian type of thing that attracts a lot of people most of the time um, even though that they are engaging with connecting with people you will see that the um, other people are the ones that goes and comes to them because of that you know Aries energy in their seventh house they prefer one-on-one -on -one connection though they're not really the type that jumps in from one relationship to another at the very least, they are the type of people that, you know, they don't want to do that. But sometimes, you know, life happens and they were forced to jump in from one person to another. But for the most part, they just want to stay in with one person at the time. And they like one-on-one -on -one partnerships as well. So when it comes to finances and how they handle money and... For Libra Rising, for the most part, they need to rely on someone for that. You know, not because of, um, not because it's not about being superficial. That's just how it goes for Libra Rising. Also, at the same time, they can earn a lot of money and they can waste a whole bunch of money all at the same time. They have Scorpio in their second house, especially if you have Pluto right there. It's like, you know, you're earning a lot and you're wasting a whole bunch of money at the same time. When it comes to, you know, um, communication and, you know, learning and all that, they can be really, really good, you know in getting into the details of things not the same way with virgo though but they know how to work with the energy they know 
they can re be really really smart I mean Libra is the sign of you know evaluation so before they actually make a decision over something they really you know debate on two things over and over and over again and at the at the one point you know they're unable to make a decision because they keep thinking of what to do or who to choose so they might spend quite a lot of time in debating about things and that is why um, they're quite hesitant in making decisions and it may take a long while for them to move from one place to another from one decision to another or even if leaving a relationship or getting into a relationship might take a bit of time unless you know someone pushes them to take action or take a decision you know in a very immediate manner as well they can be they have a very stable um, home life and family they usually are very supported by their family as well they have their Capricorn in the fourth house and you know even though um, they can vibrate a very soft nature in them they're actually very strong especially with their 10th house in the sign of cancer you know how they are seen by people are not really what they are in reality you might see them as very fragile very soft very um, weak in nature or um, there's just something about you know maybe you're seeing them as very emotional um, very fragile and all that but in reality they are really more capable they're a lot more stronger than you think and you know sometimes they just don't want to enter things abruptly they don't want to enter situations that um, that is more confrontational they don't want to enter situation that is a lot of hard work it doesn't mean that they cannot handle that it's just that they don't want to that's just the difference also um, what was I saying earlier yeah they're more stable as well like it's very rare for a Libra rising person to enter a form of crisis they have Taurus in their eighth house so Taurus is a very passive and inert sign so very rarely that you will see Taurus I'm sorry you will see Libra rising entering a form of crisis situation in their life even if they do enter a crisis situation you know because of the time that you know it's like they have already prepared something it's, it's something that they already are expecting to happen for some reason you know it could be a psychic ability in them but they already know that this is gonna happen and they have already made the preparation for that for that situation or so so it you know it's not as if they are gonna be shocked and all that but if they do enter a crisis situation it may take a long while for them to get over that so when such situation happens it takes quite a bit of time for that crisis to end as well so yeah it would take a lot of years for them to get over it or to get over a problem to overcome a problem that kind of situation in place when it comes to their goals in life you know they can be quite scattered you know it's like it's easy for them to um to be so lost in their thoughts is sometimes you know they have gemini in their ninth house and gemini in the ninth house can be quite vague in nature it's like or it could be they can be pursuing something that is very not important as well um, i have to attest to that because you know there were a lot of cases in my life where in I feel like I wanted to do something important, I wanted to do something, I want to accomplish something, but I really don't know what it is. So there is, you know, it's like you know something, but at the same time you don't know as well, you don't know the steps to take. So you know, there's a lack of practicality in terms of their goals in life and how they should be achieving that. But, you know, they, they like to learn, they like to study, they like to learn new things. And they are very curious people all at the same time. Also, there are cases wherein, you know, they might be pursuing things that are not really important. 
they're not important but they're making it the most important thing in their whole world so that is one of the things that can be experienced by a lot of Libra rising people also um, love and romance is very important to them you know that is just a no-brainer for <laughs> Libra rising people so and that is probably because they idealize the essence of love itself it's not about the lover it's not about having a lot of lover it's more about uh, their they have a lot of idealization when it comes to their love lives and romantic partner and for the most part that can be quite unrealistic in a way and maybe they desire this Romeo and Juliet type of energy when it comes to the love life so you know and you know there's just something unrealistic in terms of what they want to happen into their love life into their love experiences and sometimes it comes with great disappointments all at the same time so um yeah there could be problems right there when it comes to their partnerships as well because this is you know being ruled by the Aries part and a Martian type of energy there are cases wherein they go into a relationship and then it doesn't last so much you know it it's like uh, I would not go as far to say short-lived but you know there's always something happening in terms of their partnerships maybe there's going to be a lot of breakups a lot of arguments especially with their partner because this is Aries you know especially if you have a strong rising person rising uh, personality in, in you you have a strong Libra in your chart then you want everything to be fair and you might be attracting someone who is quite selfish someone who is quite untamable because you have this Aries in your seventh house so um, yeah there are cases like that also they do like to have a lot of fun so you will see a lot of Libra rising wanting to uh, try new things try different things and they can be quite unconventional with the way how they play around experiment around they like to do everything you know they have Aquarius in their fifth house so they like to experiment try new things they can even risk a lot of things especially in terms of what makes them happy you know and in terms of their romance and love life all at the same time when it comes to their work this is probably the, the area we're in it can create a lot of problems for them because um, they're not the most practical people in the world when it comes to their work so you know what the things that can give them stable income is probably not what they desire or wanting to do because they th because this is um pisces in the sixth house so um you know what they want to do needs to be something that is quite unique maybe unconventional type of energy also if they are in an environment that is quite harsh a lot of negative ions in that i mean negative energy of or atmosphere in terms of their work um they can easily get affected by that and they get they can get easily sick all at the same time so it's not easy for them to to really have a work because they tend to get sick they can be quite weak and fragile all at the same time you know there is a sense and difference wherein they are a lot capable in doing a lot of things they are capable to do hard work they just don't want to do it you know maybe because it makes them feel weird it makes them feel you know there's something that that so there's something that is making them feel kind of weird that makes them back off and doing things so um yeah um health issue can really come up for them they're really fragile they're ruled by venus let's not forget that also um what else have i missed out i think i've mentioned everything so um, when it comes to Libra rising people um, I think that the most important thing for them is really to be emotionally satisfied emotionally happy as a whole that is really the goal in life 
for them. You know, whether they are single, in a relationship, attached, or married, or whatever it may be, the goal is to be more happy. And sometimes, you know, being in a relationship actually is thriving for them. They're really good with partnering with people. You know, Libras are like a mirror to someone else, so they need someone to complete them. And that might be a negative way to be putting it, you know, but just that's just how a Libra goes, you know. There has to be something, you know, it doesn't have to be a partner. There has to be something that supports them, and that could be a goal for them to, um, to, to do something concrete in the world. They can be quite practical though. They can be quite practical. It's just that, you know, it's just that the positioning of their goals of, you know, of what they want um, is probably the problem. Like, they, I am practical when it comes to my work, but then for me, uh, love and relationship is more of my focus. You know, it has that kind of energy, quite funny energy. You know, but you should see Libra rising as the epitome of what Venus rising. Venus is all about. It's all about wealth, all about money, all about good fortune, good, all about um, luxuries in life, all about love and romance, and you know, um, everything like that. Um, they give that certain vibration about. Uh, love and romance also when it comes to their work they can be very happy um, when the work that they do helps other people as well that's because of their tent house and cancer like me you know unconventional work what I do what do I do for a living I do uh, relationship readings you know astrology um, I do intuitive tarot you know even though I do have other practical work before, it, it's just that I know it. they can give me a whole lot of money and stability in life, but I'm not happy there. I'm more happy doing it this way. And to be honest, this type of uh, work is not really the most stable, but you know, I'm proud of it. And this is the work that I wanted to do. So I'm okay with it, you know? So. I don't know if you are getting that, you know, differences with the priorities of what is important and what is not important to those that are in Libra rising. So, um, yeah, there are also cases that we're in, you know, because they are desiring just one person, there could be times where and they can be single for a long time as well. It's a possibility for, um, you know, Libra rising people. They can have a lot of fun, but it doesn't mean that they're gonna commit because they are desiring just one person alone. So that is just, you know, one some of the factors involving re Libra rising people. So um, to give you a sample of the celebrities in place, we do have here Beyonce, you know, everything is just showing up with you know, that Venus energy in her. Britney Spears is also another one. Also, I felt, forgot to mention that if you're a Libra rising or if you know someone who is Libra, they tend to like someone that um, that is quite similar to them. Like for me, example, the people that I actually men I'm gonna mention here are the ones that you know has attracted me for for a while, you know even without knowing their rising sign, I'm quite attracted to them. And I'm pretty sure that even though you're not a Libra rising, they have given some form of attraction in you as well. You know, that's just a Libra trait, you know. They are attracted to the opposite sex. They are attracted to, you know, something that is opposite to them. And sometimes they are attracted to something that is quite similar to their own energy because they are a mirror. You know, similarity and opposites are, you know, things that they they can find value of. You know, they're interested in that. Britney Spears, Beyonce, Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio also, you know, 
there is, you know, that class, you know, and really sexy energy in him. Jennifer Aniston and Kate Winslet as well is also a Libra rising. So if you guys will, would see them, you know, they are like the top few people that you want to be with, you know. They have that attraction level in them that is so high. Also, they can be quite soft-spoken. There's something about their voice. There's something about, you know, just the way they handle themselves and how they present to other people that creates that vibration of Venus in them. So it's really gonna show. Also, um, sometimes, um, depending on their midheaven, you know, they can, you know, create some form of curves in them, have a lot of, uh, um, some form of breasts big breasts or so since because we are talking about that um, midheaven in cancer it can differ though for other people depending on if their midheaven changes but yeah so far that's it for my video on my Libra rising people similar to me so um, yeah um, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me and my ramblings on the rising sign videos and if you like more videos like this and if you like this video please do hit that like button please do share or you can also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and I'll see you guys on my next video on Scorpio